The SAA, in coordination with the National Defense Forces, NDF, captured the village of Jinan in southeast Hama after a series of intense firefights against the ISIS militants groups along the Salamiya Raqqa Highway. According to field reports, the Syrian forces destroyed ISIS defenses at Jinan after killing several ISIS militants and destroying their headquarters inside the village. Then, the SAA and the NDF reportedly captured six kilometers of terrain along the Salamiyaraka Highway. If it's true, it's their largest gains on this front in over eight months. The Salamiyaraka Highway is used by ISIS to launch attacks on the SAA positions in the southeastern Hama. The SAA have been carrying out operations to clear the area of the Kanasa Itria Highway from the ISIS presence. This latest attack was part of the SAA efforts at this front. The Russian Air Force has recently intensified their airstrikes in the eastern Hama to protect the Syrian forces' main supply route to the Aleppo province. Another goal of these air raids is to deter the terrorist group from pushing west towards the city of Al Salamiya. On Monday, the Syrian forces broke the ISIS frontline defenses at the town of Sheikh Ahmad in the Dev Hafa plains and imposed full control over this area after a series of intense firefights. On Tuesday, the SAA broke through ISIS's final line of defense at the East Kuwaris village and military housing to liberate the remaining area, lifting the three-year-long siege. The recent developments are showing that, despite the counterattacks and even tactical successes at a number of fronts, the terrorists have lost a strategic initiative in Syria and passed to defensive actions. Due to the start of the Russian military operations, the pro-government forces have gained a substantial advantage in the intelligence, coordination and firepower. Russian warplanes play a crucial role for successful offensive actions at the battle space. Iraqi security forces liberated the western part of the city of Ramadi from the ISIS control. Colonel Walid al-Dulaimi said that security forces had full control over western Ramadi and were waiting on reinforcements to advance towards the city center. The Iraqi security forces operations aimed to liberate the city from ISIS have been continuing since July. In the coming weeks, the US-led coalition plans to increase airstrikes in Iraq and Syria against ISIS. Nonetheless, it's hard to forecast a real result of these operations because the previous US efforts against ISIS de facto failed, among other things, because of a weak coordination between the US Air Force and the local ground forces.